Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Vietnamese ebook before it's gone. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Vietnamese. Hi everybody, my name is Linh. Welcome to the 800 Core Vietnamese Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Vietnamese. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you learn the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at VietnamesePod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Vietnamese. Okay, let's get started. First is... Bàn tay Hand Bàn tay Bàn tay Hand Đứa bé đang dơ bàn tay lên The child is raising his hand Đứa bé đang dơ bàn tay lên Cánh tay Arm Cánh tay Cánh tay Arm Con robot cử động hai cánh tay The robot moves its arms Con robot cử động hai cánh tay Bàn chân Foot Bàn chân Bàn chân Foot Một bàn chân có năm ngón chân A foot has five toes Một bàn chân có năm ngón chân chân leg chân chân leg chân dài long legs chân dài ngón tay finger ngón tay ngón tay finger ngón tay bị ép vào mặt kính The finger is pressed against the glass. Ngón tay bị ép vào mặt kính. Lưng. Back. Lưng. Lưng. Back. Tôi bị đau lưng. My back hurts. Tôi bị đau lưng. Bao tử. Stomach. Bao tử. Bao 
Stomach Tôi bị đau bao tử I have a stomach ache Tôi bị đau bao tử Ngực Chest Ngực Ngực Chest Người bác sĩ và y tá đang chụp x-quang ngực cho bệnh nhân. The doctor and nurse are taking an x-ray of the patient's chest. Người bác sĩ và y tá đang chụp x-quang ngực cho bệnh nhân. Tháng 1 January Tháng 1 Tháng 1 January Tháng 1 ở đây rất lạnh It's very cold here in January Tháng 1 ở đây rất lạnh Tháng 2 February Tháng 2 Tháng 2 February Ngày năm nhuận là ngày 29 tháng 2 Lip year day is February 29th Ngày năm nhuận là ngày 29 tháng 2 Tháng 3 March Tháng 3 Tháng 3 March Bây giờ là tháng 4, do đó tháng trước là tháng 3 It is now April, so last month was March. Bây giờ là tháng 4, do đó tháng trước là tháng 3. Tháng 4 April Tháng 4 Tháng 4 April. Những cơn mưa rào tháng tư sẽ mang hoa lá tháng năm đến. April showers bring May flowers. Những cơn mưa rào tháng tư sẽ mang hoa lá tháng năm đến. Tháng năm. May Tháng 5 Tháng 5 May Ngày 31 tháng 5 là ngày thế giới không hút thuốc lá. May 31st is World No Smoking Day. Ngày 31 tháng 5 là ngày thế giới không hút thuốc lá. Tháng 6 June Tháng 6 Tháng 6 June Chúng tôi sẽ kết hôn vào tháng 6. We're getting married in June. Chúng tôi sẽ kết hôn vào tháng 6. 
Tháng 7 July Tháng 7 Tháng 7 July Tháng 7 là một trong 7 tháng có 31 ngày. July is one of 7 months with 31 days. Tháng 7 là một trong 7 tháng có 31 ngày. Tháng 8 August Tháng 8 Tháng 8 August Trường học đóng cửa vào tháng 8 The school is closed in August Trường học đóng cửa vào tháng 8 Tháng 9 September Tháng 9 Tháng 9 September Hôm nay là thứ bảy ngày 10 tháng 9 Today is Saturday, September 10th Hôm nay là thứ bảy Ngày 10 tháng 9 Tháng 10 October Tháng 10 Tháng 10 October Halloween rơi vào ngày 31 tháng 10 Halloween falls on October 31st. Halloween rơi vào ngày 31 tháng 10. Tháng 11. November. Tháng 11. Tháng 11. November Tháng 11 là một trong bốn tháng có 30 ngày. November is one of four months with 30 days. Tháng 11 là một trong bốn tháng có 30 ngày. Tháng 12 December Tháng 12 Tháng 12 December Thứ 6 ngày mùng 8 tháng 12 Friday December 8th Thứ 6 ngày mùng 8 Tháng 12 Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at VietnameseSpot101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard dates, and more learning resources. See you next time! That be it! Can learning a new language help you make money? In this video, you'll learn three ways that learning a language can help increase your income. So, if you know a language other than your native language, does it help you earn more money? Learning a new language provides a wide range of benefits, including personal growth, higher cognitive function, better resistance to age-related deterioration, and the opportunity to meet exciting new people from all over the world. But that's not all. It's possible that learning a foreign language can help you to earn more money throughout your life. 
Studies have shown that someone making $30,000 annually could boost their salary by at least $600 per year through applying their knowledge of another language. Over the course of a lifetime, that could add up to a significant contribution to your retirement savings or overall earnings. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get free language learning courses and tools that you can use for your studies with the aim of boosting your income. One day, the extra money could possibly help you buy a new Ferrari, vacation home, or save more money for retirement. But first, let's look at a few ways you can make money with a second language. The first method is by exploring bilingual or multilingual job opportunities. With the rise of multinational corporations doing business all around the globe, the need for bilingual or even multilingual employees has never been higher. Therefore, knowing a second language can be extremely valuable. Having a second language as part of your skill set could help you make significantly more money than if you're fluent in just one language. So, in a very real way, learning a language online, even for free, can alter your career and earnings trajectory for the better, and it can help put you on the path towards the lifestyle you want. The second method is by exploring work you can do from home in your second language. It's possible to use your knowledge of a second language to work from home. There are many websites that have hundreds of paying translation jobs at any given time. Although the pay may vary significantly between jobs, and you probably won't actually become rich from such work, translation jobs can boost your salary and improve your lifestyle. And translation jobs aren't the only way to make money online from home. There are actually a wide range of opportunities out there for people to boost their income using their knowledge of a second language. These include copywriting, administrative work, and even multilingual IT jobs. The third method is by working overseas. If you love adventure or want to travel the world, you can put your language knowledge to use by taking advantage of bilingual or multilingual opportunities overseas. Put what you've learned to work in the real world. Combine your second language skills with the other skills you have and offer something special to employers. To start, think about a country where you might like to live someday and begin your language studies with the language spoken in that country. With diligent work, you can master a language and secure a position with an overseas company. These are just a few of the ways you can put your knowledge of another language to use and make some extra money with your skills. Over time, this added income can make a huge difference in your life. Our language learning program provides a number of free language learning tools and resources as part of our free lifetime account. You can use these to get started with your language learning and begin working toward boosting your income throughout your life. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to speak real Vietnamese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at VietnamesePod101.com. Xin chào các bạn. Tôi tên là Linh. Rất vui được gặp lại các bạn. Hello everyone, my name is Linh and welcome back to VietnamesePod101.com. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Vietnamese. In this video today, I'm going to tell you how to say hello in some very common ways in Vietnamese and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Now let's get started. Xin chào Xin chào Xin chào Okay, so here you will see one time mark which is the down sound chào chào xin chào xin chào xin chào the x sound you will pronounce like s in english like the s sound in english okay it's like in six so xin and the sound chờ in chào you can pronounce like in um, champion. Chào. Chào. Uh, that is for a very general situations. How about you want to say hello for some specific people? People who are younger than you, people who are older than you, people who are men or people who are women. So let's take a look. 
Uh, for example, if you want to to greet all people who are younger than you, either a man or a woman, so you can just say chào em, chào em. How about with someone who is older than you? Then it'll be once a man or two a woman. So you can just easily say chào anh for a man who is older than you and chào chị for a woman who is older than you. Chào anh Chào anh Chào chị Chào chị What about for middle-aged people? Uh, people who are pretty much older than you is like the same with your parents. Uh, so you can just say Chào cô Chào chú Chào cô Chào chú Next one I like to say is um, Lâu rồi không gặp Lâu rồi không gặp Lâu rồi không gặp uh, This sentence means long time no see So uh, this sentence you can say uh, with uh, a friend because there is no pr pronouns here, right? So lâu rồi không gặp Lâu rồi không gặp Maybe you want to say it with uh, someone who is uh, older than you and uh, you have to put the pronouns here in this sentence. For example, Lâu rồi không gặp chị Lâu rồi không gặp chị Lâu rồi không gặp chị Or Lâu rồi không gặp anh Lâu rồi không gặp anh Lâu rồi không gặp anh Ok Xin chào Lâu rồi không gặp Bạn có khỏe không? Bạn có khỏe không? Bạn có khỏe không means how are you in English. Uh, so uh, this one also you can use for your friends uh, because here bạn is uh, a friend. You, you here is a friend of mine. Bạn có khỏe không? How are you? Uh, this way is very common and uh, very easy to say. You, you can say with anyone. But again, if you want to say uh, with someone who is older than you and you want to, to show respect, then you must say Chị có khỏe không? For a woman And anh có khỏe không? For a man Okay? One more time Bạn có khỏe không? Chị có khỏe không? Anh có khỏe không? Now, let's go a little bit faster uh, Bạn có khỏe không? Chị có khỏe không? Anh có khỏe không? Alright, so uh, when you say bạn có khỏe không, actually it sounds very polite, right? And uh, for very very close friend, uh, you can just say two words. Khỏe không? This is an informal way to say how are you. Or it literally means uh, uh, you're good. Something like that, okay? So now let's practice. Khỏe không Khỏe không Now, let's go faster. Khỏe không Okay, one more time from the beginning. Lâu rồi không gặp Khỏe không Or Chào anh Lâu rồi không gặp anh Anh có khỏe không? Có gì mới không? Có gì mới không? Có gì mới không? Có gì mới không? Means uh, what's up or um, is there anything new? 
uh, in English, okay? So, uh, again, you can use this one for friends, uh, but if you want to use this one for I uh, or T, you have to put the pronoun. Anh có gì mới không? Anh có gì mới không? Chị có gì mới không? Chị có gì mới không? Dạo này thế nào rồi? Dạo này thế nào rồi? Dạo này thế nào rồi? Okay, so this one means how have you been recently? Or uh, how are you doing? That's it. Uh, again, with friends, no pronoun. But with people who are older than you, you must put the pronoun. Okay? Dạo này thế nào rồi? Dạo này anh thế nào rồi? Dạo này chị thế nào rồi? Now, let's go fast. Dạo này thế nào rồi? Dạo này anh thế nào rồi? Dạo này chị thế nào rồi? Ngày hôm nay của bạn thế nào? Ngày hôm nay của bạn thế nào? Ngày hôm nay của bạn thế nào? So, uh, ngày hôm nay của bạn thế nào means how is your day? Um, this is just something to say uh, in general. Uh, every day we, we meet someone, uh, we, uh, we chit chat and then we ask uh, how is your day? Ngày hôm nay của bạn thế nào? So, bạn here is for friends, okay? Friends only. And uh, if you want to say with anh or chị, then replace the word bạn with uh, anh or chị. Ngày hôm nay của anh thế nào? Ngày hôm nay của anh thế nào? Ngày hôm nay của chị thế nào? Ngày hôm nay của chị thế nào? Okay, so let's talk about grammar a little bit. Ngày hôm nay means today. Ngày hôm nay Okay, and also you will say của bạn. It means your của bạn. So uh, if you want to use the possessive adjective here, uh, you can just put the word của before the pronoun. For example, của bạn, your, của anh, của chị, still your, but for different people. Okay, uh, again, của, của. Rất vui được gặp lại bạn. Okay, uh, this one means it's nice to see you again. Rất vui, vui here means happy. Very happy to see you again or to meet you again. Rất vui được gặp lại bạn bạn here is for friends only okay and uh, for anh chị rất vui được gặp lại anh rất vui được gặp lại anh rất vui được gặp lại chị rất vui được gặp lại chị Okay, so now let's take a look from the beginning to the end, okay? Uh, xin chào, khỏe không? Uh, lâu rồi không gặp. Dạo này thế nào rồi? Rất vui được gặp lại. Alright, so how do you feel about the lesson today? I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, and uh, I hope it's going to be helpful for you because anywhere you go, every time, uh, or anyone you talk to, you will have to say hello, right? And remember, if you want to speak and learn Vietnamese in the fastest, easiest, and most fun way, you can go to VietnamesePod101.com right now for your free lifetime account. Get our complete learning program with our real lessons by real teachers.
Want to speak real Vietnamese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at vietnamesepod101.com. Xin chào các bạn, tôi là Linh. Rất vui được gặp lại các bạn. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Ling and welcome back to VietnamesePod101.com The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Vietnamese uh, In this video today, I'm going to show you how to tell days of the week and also we will learn a little bit of grammar uh, Are you ready? Now, let's get started In Vietnamese, it's very easy to tell from Monday to Sunday because you only have to remember numbers uh, and also one more word. Thứ Thứ For days. Uh, for example, Thứ hai Thứ hai Means Monday. Uh, thứ ba Thứ ba Okay, and next Thứ tư Thứ tư Thứ năm Thứ năm Thứ sáu Thứ sáu Thứ bảy Thứ bảy And the last one, Sunday, we have another uh, word for that Chủ nhật Chủ nhật Okay, so from Monday to Sunday, only one word Thứ and the numbers Only for Sunday we have a specific word And uh, you will know how to learn how to say from Monday to Sunday Tuần means week Tuần Tuần Right? Um, and Tuần sau means next week Tuần sau Tôi sẽ đi du lịch vào tuần sau Let's speak a little bit about grammar So here you will see how I'll, I'll use the word sẽ before đi du lịch uh, So in Vietnamese, you only use the word sẽ sẽ before the verb and it will be in the future One more time sẽ so here you will see that the tone is the ngã and uh, you will have to, to pronounce very clearly to make this sound um, uh, correctly If not, it will sound like dấu sắc Now let's make some sentences using days of the week uh, so you also can see the sentence structures, okay? Uh, thứ hai là ngày đầu tuần Thứ hai là ngày đầu tuần Thứ hai là ngày đầu tuần Means uh, Monday is the first day of the week Thứ ba Thứ ba Thứ ba ngày mùng 1 tháng 3 Thứ ba ngày mùng 1 tháng 3 means uh, Tuesday is the 1st of March Thứ ba ngày mùng 1 tháng 3 So if you notice, you also will see uh, March here is tháng 3 means number 3 So we only use the word tháng before the number Then you also can, uh, can, can, uh, can count calendars, can count uh, months Thứ ba ngày mùng 1 tháng 3 Thứ tư Thứ tư Thứ tư tuần này tôi được nghỉ Thứ tư tuần này tôi được nghỉ Thứ tư tuần này tôi được nghỉ Means um, this Wednesday I can take a day off Thứ tư tuần này tôi được nghỉ Thứ năm Thứ năm Mỗi khi đến thứ năm Tôi lại có cảm giác gần đến cuối tuần Mỗi khi đến thứ năm tôi lại có cảm giác gần đến cuối tuần 
means um, when it comes to Thursday, I feel like it's going to be wicked. Thứ sáu. Thứ sáu. So here, these two words has dấu sắc. So you have to go up and uh, you have to make it very clearly so it will sound um, correctly, uh, differently with uh, dấu ngã. Okay, thứ sáu. Uh, hôm nay là thứ sáu đấy. Bạn đã có kế hoạch gì chưa? Hôm nay là thứ sáu đấy. Bạn đã có kế hoạch gì chưa? Hôm nay là thứ sáu đấy. Bạn đã có kế hoạch gì chưa? Today is Friday. Do you have any plans? Thứ bảy. Thứ bảy. Uh, so this word is a little bit hard to pronounce correctly because it has dấu sắc and dấu hỏi. Uh, thứ bảy. Thứ bảy. Thứ bảy. Tôi sẽ về thăm nhà thứ bảy tuần này. Tôi sẽ về thăm nhà thứ bảy tuần này. Tôi sẽ về thăm nhà thứ bảy tuần này. I'll visit my family this Saturday. So uh, here you will see this Saturday means thứ bảy tuần này. That means the Saturday of this week. So tôi sẽ về thăm nhà thứ bảy. Tuần này. Chủ nhật. Chủ nhật. Chủ nhật tuần này bạn có đi nhà thờ không? Chủ nhật tuần này bạn có đi nhà thờ không? Chủ nhật tuần này bạn có đi nhà thờ không? Are you going to the church this Sunday? Now let's talk a little bit about other days. Uh, in English, we have yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Uh, let's see how we pronounce them in Vietnamese. Uh, first, let's talk about the past. Hôm kia. Hôm kia. Hôm kia means the day before yesterday. Hôm kia. There is no tone in this uh, in this word, so you can just raise your voice like in the middle of all sounds. Um, I know that uh, some 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 people told me that uh, the no tone in Vietnamese actually is a little bit higher. The tone is a little bit higher than English. Uh, I think it's because of the voice, the general voice, the general uh, tone of Vietnamese is higher. So try one more time. Home kia. Tôi gặp Linh vào hôm kia khi tôi đang đi siêu thị. Tôi gặp Linh vào hôm kia khi tôi đang đi siêu thị. Uh, so you will notice that uh, even this sentence I talked about the past, but also uh, we don't have to conjugate the verb in the past. Uh, tôi gặp Linh vào hôm kia, so gặp here means uh, me. Um, I met her in the past, but you don't have to say tôi đã gặp Linh. You can just say tôi gặp Linh vào hôm kia. Then people will understand that it's in the past. Also, you will see the word đang means uh, I'm doing something in the present, but you can use it for the past continuous as well, which is the present in the past. So, khi tôi đang đi siêu thị means at the moment I was going to the supermarket. So, one more time. Tôi gặp Linh vào hôm kia khi tôi đang đi siêu thị. Next one is yesterday. So, in Vietnamese, you can say hôm qua. Hôm qua. Tôi đã nói chuyện với sếp hôm qua. Tôi đã nói chuyện với sếp. Hôm qua. So, đã here is representing for the past. 
you only have to put the verb uh, after the word đã so it will be in the past tôi đã nói chuyện với sếp hôm qua Uh, next one is hôm nay hôm nay hôm nay means uh, today in sentence you can just easily say hôm nay là sinh nhật tôi today is my birthday hôm nay là sinh nhật tôi hôm nay là sinh nhật tôi so là here is to be verb and uh, in Vietnamese it's very easy when you use the verbs because you don't have to conjugate for the third person or singular or plural uh, you only have to put the verb after the pronouns then it's fine hôm nay là sinh nhật tôi means today is my birthday next one is Ngày mai Ngày mai Ngày mai means tomorrow uh, Ngày here is dấu huyền and mai here has no tone Ngày mai Ngày mai So uh, to say see you tomorrow you can easily use three words Mai gặp nhé Mai gặp nhé Mai gặp nhá. So uh, means tomorrow uh, I'll see you. And uh, actually the word nhé here has no meaning in Vietnamese. Uh, we usually uh, use this word at the end of the sentence to uh, to say uh, is maybe it means uh, is that okay? Mai gặp nhé. Uh, see you tomorrow okay? Something like that. Mai gặp nhé. Okay, so last one I'd like to share with you is uh, Ngày kia Ngày kia means the day after tomorrow Ngày kia So, dấu huyền and no time Ngày kia Ngày kia rảnh không? Qua nhà em ăn tối nhá Ngày kia rảnh không? Qua nhà em ăn tối nhé means uh, are you free the day after tomorrow uh, let's go to my place and have dinner ngày kia rảnh không qua nhà em ăn tối nhá so sometimes uh, when we talk with close friends uh, we don't have to say are you free tomorrow or are you free after tomorrow because uh, um, it's not really necessary Uh, either ngày kia anh rảnh không or ngày kia rảnh không is fine. Okay, thank you so much for watching the video today and I hope you liked it. Also, I'd like to thank you because of the comments that you gave me and uh, it helped me to improve my videos a lot. Uh, also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe the channel and visit the website www.vietnamesport101.com for your free lifetime account right now. Get our learning program with real lessons by real teachers. See you next time. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại. Today, traditional classrooms are no longer the only or even best place to learn a new language. More and more people are finding that they can easily learn a language just about anywhere they have a few minutes of spare time, including their daily commute to work. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the average American spends over 50 minutes a day commuting to and from work, or over 300 hours a year. But rather than simply sitting in traffic and wasting the time, you can instead use your daily commute to literally learn a new language in just a few short months. Our language learning program has specialized learning tools that you can use on your commute to and from the office to master a language in your spare time. What are some reasons traditional classroom settings just aren't the best option for most people in today's fast-paced world? Difficulty getting to and from class. Learning on someone else's schedule. Very expensive and may cost thousands of dollars to complete. Can take years to finally complete classes and learn the language. The simple truth is the traditional classroom instruction is simply not a viable option for most people in today's very fast-paced, time-starved world. 
Now, let's examine how you can learn a language faster, more easily, and at far less expense than traditional classes, all during your commute to work and back home again. Three reasons your daily commute can help you master a language in the next year. On average, Americans spend more than 300 hours per year commuting. During the commute to and from work, over six hours a week is completely wasted. The time isn't used to help you reach any goals or objectives. But thanks to online language learning platforms with audiobooks and other resources that you can access during your commute, you can easily transform wasted time into progress toward learning a new language. With over 300 hours available annually, your daily commute could provide you with enough time to gain significant skills in a new language each and every year. Increase your earning potential while commuting to work. How would you like to transform all those spare commuting hours each week into more money for a new car, house, or even a dream vacation? According to research, someone making $30,000 per year can boost their annual income by $600 or more per year by learning a second language. Over the course of a lifetime, that's a significant amount. How? From work-at-home translation jobs to working overseas, there are many ways to leverage your second language into more money in your bank account. So instead of wasting your precious time, you can make your commute more productive and eventually profitable. The more languages you learn, the higher your income potential. Repetition is key to mastering a new language. Not sure if it's practical to learn another language while commuting to and from work each day? Well, not only is it possible, learning in your car on the way to and from work each day can actually help you learn and master any language quickly. The simple truth is that repetition is absolutely vital to truly internalizing and mastering any language. So, if you listen to audiobooks or even audio lessons on your commute to work and then repeat the same lesson on your commute home, the information is more likely to be locked in to your long-term memory. Our language learning program has been helping people learn and master language in the comfort of their home, during their daily commute, or any place they have a few spare minutes of time. Here are five features of our program that make it easy to learn a new language while commuting to and from work. First, the largest collection of audio lessons on the planet by native speaker instructors. Every single week, native speaker instructors create new audio lessons. All lessons are short, to the point, and guaranteed to improve your mastery of a language. Second, the word of the day. Simply exposing yourself to new information and vocabulary terms helps increase your fluency and mastery of your target language. So every single day, check out the word of the day and memorize it during your commute. It's a quick and easy way to boost your vocabulary every day. Third, daily dose mini lessons. Have a short commute to work but still want to make progress towards learning more than just vocabulary? Not a problem. Our daily dose mini lessons are one minute or less and are designed to improve your grammar, conversations, and pronunciation. Fourth, all content is available on a convenient mobile app. You don't need a PC or tablet to learn during your daily commute. Instead, all of our lessons, tools, and resources are available 24-7 via our mobile app. That means you can access all of our audio lessons and other tools during your commute to work or anytime you have a few spare minutes. Fifth, audiobooks and other supplemental resources. In addition to the world's largest online collection of HD audio lessons, our language learning program has audiobooks to enhance your understanding and make it more convenient than ever to learn a language during your commute. The average commute time of most Americans is over 300 hours each year, and it's the perfect opportunity to learn and master a new language. Use the dead time during your daily commute to learn a new language and potentially boost your lifetime earnings. Whatever your motivation, our language learning program has the tools and resources necessary to help you learn a new language each year during your commute to and from work. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to speak real Vietnamese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at VietnamesePod101.com. I think there's a huge need in digital, 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 di digital marketing your skills, your techniques, and your knowledge in digital. 
in digital. What's wrong with me? Digital, digital, digital. Vietnam is a developing country and um, nowadays there are plenty of job opportunities for foreigners, especially if you are an English speaker. So in this video today, I'm going to share with you how to get a job in Vietnam and what you need to prepare because uh, living here is very easy, very flexible, the living cost is slow and we have like pretty much everything that you guys have. Life is a bit more easier here and more chilled. So let's see what we got today and keep watching. Đầu tiên chúng ta phải chuẩn bị hồ sơ. Đầu tiên chúng ta phải chuẩn bị hồ sơ. Đầu tiên first, chúng ta phải we need to or we have to chuẩn bị hồ sơ to prepare uh, a resume or paperwork. Đầu tiên chúng ta phải chuẩn bị hồ sơ. So, yeah, basically you need a resume or like all the paperwork ready so that you guys can apply for some places. Đầu tiên chúng ta phải chuẩn bị hồ sơ. In Vietnam, we have like different websites, but some of the biggest websites to look for a job are uh, Top CV. Top CV. Uh, it's a Vietnamese accent, okay? Top CV. Top CV is basically like a just a website to help you create a CV, a resume. However, nowadays they have like plenty of job opportunities that you can look for. Right, the next one would be Vietnam Work, Vietnam Work, VietnamWork.com or something. And there will be a lot more like a little bit higher level jobs uh, there, especially for foreigners. So I believe that you guys can easily find something. The next one, I think you can find at my work. So those are some very big websites that there will always be like plenty of job opportunities. Also, you can look for a job on Facebook and LinkedIn. So on Facebook, we have uh, the two biggest Facebook groups for foreigners, which are Hanoi Massive, Hanoi Massive and Saigon Massive. Saigon, Saigon Massive. So those are the two biggest groups for foreigners in Hanoi and in Saigon. You guys can just post anything and ask about anything. There will be always someone who answers for you. I think the most common job for foreigners in Vietnam is Giáo viên tiếng Anh Giáo viên tiếng Anh Giáo viên tiếng Anh Nếu bạn đến từ Anh, Úc, Mỹ, Canada Bạn có thể dễ dàng trở thành giáo viên tiếng Anh ở Việt Nam Nếu bạn đến từ Anh, Úc, Mỹ, Canada Bạn có thể dễ dàng trở thành giáo viên tiếng Anh ở Việt Nam. Nếu bạn đến từ Anh, Úc, Mỹ, Canada, bạn có thể dễ dàng trở thành giáo viên tiếng Anh ở Việt Nam. That means if you come from um, England, uh, Australia, uh, America or Canada, you can easily become an English teacher in Vietnam. Talking about becoming an English teacher in Vietnam, we have nowadays like a lot a lot of English centers and we're still looking for a lot of English teachers so basically not only England America Canada or Australia we also look for English teachers from the Philippines uh, South Africa as long as you speak English as your first language or second language you speak English fluently like a native speakers you can easily find a job anywhere and the rate for um, English teacher is pretty high so that you can easily afford for your life a very comfortable life the rent in vietnam is not very expensive it's not very high so being an english teacher can provide you a very good life a sentence in this situation i would introduce to you bạn có thể dạy tiếng anh miễn phí ở bất cứ đâu bạn có thể dạy tiếng anh miễn phí ở bất cứ đâu bạn có thể dạy tiếng anh miễn phí ở bất cứ đâu dạy tiếng anh means to teach english miễn phí for free ở bất cứ đâu anywhere 
So basically, you can teach English for free anywhere in Vietnam as a volunteer. And uh, this is also a good way to have like to expand your connections and relationship with local people and some job opportunities can come from there. So this is also a possibility. IT programmer, IT developer or coder are also very common jobs in Vietnam that we really, really need because the market is huge, but the resources are limited. So uh, we have a lot of foreign IT engineers staying and working in Vietnam. So this is also one of the very um, interesting and attractive jobs that can earn a lot of money. So in Vietnamese, kỹ sư tin học, kỹ sư tin học, kỹ sư tin học, and lập trình viên, lập trình viên, lập trình viên. Bạn có thể kiếm rất nhiều tiền nếu bạn là một lập trình viên ở Việt Nam. Bạn có thể kiếm rất nhiều tiền nếu bạn là một lập trình viên ở Việt Nam. I think there is a huge need in marketing in Vietnam, especially if you're good and experienced at digital. Excuse me. Bạn có thể xin việc ở bất cứ đâu nếu có kinh nghiệm trong lĩnh vực digital marketing. Bạn có thể xin việc ở bất cứ đâu nếu bạn có kinh nghiệm ở digital marketing. Bạn có thể đi xin việc ở bất cứ đâu nếu bạn có kinh nghiệm ở digital marketing. Another job that is also very interesting. I also like it. I used to plan to work in hospitality, but I wasn't really good at English at the moment. So I didn't choose this subject. Um, quản lý khách sạn. All right, so du lịch, tourism, du lịch. Du lịch or quản lý khách sạn is like um, hotel management or um, hospitality. Du lịch quản lý khách sạn là những ngành hot ở Việt Nam. Du lịch quản lý khách sạn là những ngành hot ở Việt Nam. Du lịch quản lý khách sạn là những ngành hot ở Việt Nam. However, it's because of COVID, we haven't been traveling for so long, right? And I really really hope that one day we can meet each other soon. Rất nhiều người nước ngoài có thể tìm việc trong lĩnh vực du lịch và khách sạn ở Việt Nam. Rất nhiều người nước ngoài có thể tìm việc trong lĩnh vực du lịch và khách sạn ở Việt Nam. Rất nhiều người nước ngoài, many foreigners, có thể tìm việc can find a job trong lĩnh vực du lịch và khách sạn ở Việt Nam. Rất nhiều người nước ngoài có kinh nghiệm trong lĩnh vực du lịch và khách sạn có thể tìm việc ở Việt Nam. And because we have a lot of five star hotel, right? So uh, working as a chef in those hotels is also a good choice for people who can cook. Đầu bếp cho khách sạn 5 sao là một sự lựa chọn cho người nước ngoài. Đầu bếp cho khách sạn 5 sao là một sự lựa chọn cho người nước ngoài. Đầu bếp cho khách sạn 5 sao là một sự lựa chọn cho người nước ngoài. Also, we have to mention bars and clubs in Vietnam. So, there are a lot of foreigners working as a bartender in Vietnam, especially at some big clubs. Rất nhiều bartender ở các club trong Sài Gòn là người nước ngoài. Rất nhiều bartender ở các club trong Sài Gòn là người nước ngoài. Rất nhiều bartender ở các club trong Sài Gòn là người nước ngoài. A lot of bartenders at clubs in Saigon are foreigners. Right, that's it for today. I hope that you guys can find something interesting and helpful. If you want more recommendations or suggestions, uh, don't forget to go to Top CV Vietnam Work, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, Hanoi Massive, Saigon Massive for more ideas. Thank you so much for watching the videos today. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe the channel, visit the website VietnamesePod101.com to learn more Vietnamese. 
And to get access to your free lifetime account right now, get your real lessons by real teachers also. Thank you so much again. See you in the next one. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại các bạn. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Vietnamese ebook before it's gone.